Vietnamese cuisine has been the best surprise of our entire year of travel. We've really only known a few dishes like pho and banh mi before this trip, and we've been missing out. Welcome back to another Flyer Saga, and join us on this culinary exploration of Da Nang. Please forgive all the butchered pronunciations, Vietnamese is hard. We're getting a meal at Bet Pont, which means kitchen roll. We're here for some home-style cooked Vietnamese food. So this is the real reason I brought Garrett to this restaurant. Their specialty drink is passion fruit virgin mojito. I'm so excited. Delicious. Got a little sparkle, like a mojito with soda, and it's nice and minty, and passion fruit is perfect. We might have been a little too ambitious with the food order. We're eating ban seo, which is like a Vietnamese cream. It's made from rice flour and turmeric, and it's filled with all sorts of fillings like pork, shrimp. Here we've got mushroom, and you can also wrap it all in a rice paper. I'm glad the waitress told us how to put this thing together. They clearly deal with a lot of tourists, and they're probably annoyed with them just picking these things individually. <laughs> Mm. The sauce is beautiful. It's like a mix of the peanut sauce with a nice little spicy fish sauce. It's delicious. And then all the layers in here, you get a really nice crunch from the actual bansero crepe. Yeah. I overstuffed it. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. It's so thick. I got this. I love the crunchy like rice and then the cucumber, the lettuce. It all comes out is very crunchy and fresh. It's really nice. This is definitely a down dirty kind of meal too. Very sticky. Great for estate material. So this is a Vietnamese specialty, the snakehead fish. This is braised snakehead fish. And yeah, it's very interesting. I haven't really heard of this fish outside of Vietnam, so I'm pretty excited to try it. Oh wow, this is such an interesting fish texture. It's a lot more, I guess, like gritty. Almost Kind of like a texture of like canned tuna, maybe? Definitely a lot more flavorful. Looks pretty good. Gotta be careful, there are a lot of little bones in here to watch out for, but the flavor of this sauce as well, it's pretty rich. It's like, mm. Very savory, adds a nice little salt to the fish as well. This is great. I had to get some of the pork skewers, especially seeing them cook it on the charcoal outside. It looks so good. Mm. Oh, that is nice. There's a lot of like really nice charcoal flavor on this pork. And the sauce is great. There's like kind of like a sweet sauce on it. And it goes really well with the, the peanut sauce. Give that extra nutty, mellow taste. Mm. It's excellent. Our bill came out to 18 US, but we definitely over ordered because we're super stuffed. We highly recommend getting the Ban Seo when you're here because it's their specialty and that sauce was divine. I've been so happy in Vietnam because all the restaurants have little stools and little chairs. I always complain to Garrett about how chairs are too big because I'm only five feet tall. Look at this big chair! I don't know, it looks like a toy chair, Sky. It's so cute! Look at perfect, perfect meat bench. All right, started collapsing a bit. <laughs> Quan Dai Lok is the place to get pork rice wrap rolls, or Ban Kang Kang Chit So we sat down and they immediately asked for our order without giving us a menu. I think we found a lot of these restaurants, they actually don't have a menu because it's very short and simple for what they offer. And if you look around the walls, you'll probably find it somewhere there. So this is pretty cool. They actually give you two different types of rice rolls. Uh, there's this more like a rice noodle wrap that's a little thicker, and then these dried paper ones that they actually give you this whole little container of water 
so that you wet these, get them nice and soft. Oh, nice. These actually peel off to be pretty thin, but you'd have to work pretty hard to make sure you get a nice, the thinnest layer. Man, if they peel off this thin, this is a huge amount. So this is their special fish sauce. I think it's made out of anchovies. And, oh, it's got a very strong smell. I actually think this whole restaurant kind of smells slightly like this sauce. We're gonna grab some pork. Ah, this pork belly looks great. Uh, add some nice crunchy veggies. This is some, I think it's like unripe mangoes. It's a little bit sour. They have a bunch of lettuce here, so that should also give it a nice crunch. All right, might've been a little overly ambitious with this. It's more like a taco rather than a wrap. Mm. Whoa. All right, yeah, that's not your average fish sauce. It's got an extra kick in it. It's very salty. The initial taste of that fish sauce is a little surprising. So it's a little bit of a shock at first, but it tastes really good. It's a very savory fish sauce. Um, definitely on the stronger side, but I'm really enjoying it. The pork is excellent. It's got some nice fattiness that it adds to this whole wrap. And I love having all these crunchy vegetables and bits in there. Adds such a nice crunch. It's very satisfying. There's some additional components here, like that sour mango, that you need to add a little bit more of in order to get the taste to come out. And it's great because that mango adds like a nice bright acidity to all of this. So well, you gotta do this for the rice paper to get it soft. It's not hand washing water, as I've learned previously in a different restaurant. You're really dousing that. Uh, it's, it's not coming out as soft as I would have expected. Mm. I definitely enjoyed the thicker rice wrap. It has a little bit nice more bite to it, a little bit more flavor to it as well. These dried papers are a little bit bigger, and so they're much easier to make a nice wrap. Oh, and I almost missed all of these chilies. They have this really nice like pepper sauce that you can add into your roll. Okay. <laughs> I can do this. I uh, made this a little bit more difficult. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Wow. That pepper sauce is actually really good. I might almost have to say, I like the peppers almost more than the fish sauce. It adds such a nice brightness, great spice, and a little sweetness also. Almost as if they maybe roasted some of these peppers beforehand. This is excellent. Wrapping up this meal costs about three US dollars, 60,000 dong. This is Baduang. It's a very well-known place for Banseyo. All right, so it seems that Baduang only sells two things. It's the Banseyo and the Nem Lui sticks. We didn't order anything, but they just brought a plate of Banseyo and then asked how many Nem Lui sticks we wanted. Nem Lui is a seasoned pork that is wrapped around a piece of lemongrass and then fired over the grill. There are some of these like big peppercorns actually, you can kind of see them inside the meat. And so it gives us this nice like flash of uh, peppery, peppery uh, brightness. And hmm, there's a little bit of sweetness too. I think because they add some sugar into the pork. Oh shoot. Oh, excellent. The rice is really nice and crispy. And on top of that, you get all the extra crunch from all these different kinds of greens. The sauce is this pretty rich, nutty sauce. Maybe even like a, some kind of like peanut sauce. And oh, yeah, all of these flavors together, just beautiful combination. So after closer inspection and just tasting the sauce on its own, it's definitely still a little nutty, but I think these are actual just chunks of minced pork not nuts so this is a very meaty sauce so the shrimp is actually really interesting because it still has its shell but you can't really tell because when you mix it in it just adds to the crunchiness of the bunch so this restaurant is also cool because you can see into the kitchen and because they only have a very simple menu 
You can see the chefs just churning out bonsai ale. Awesome to see their efficiency. That meal was awesome. And it was only about $5 US. Surprisingly, that's actually a little bit more on the expensive side for this area, but I can't complain. We made it to the Dragon Bridge Night Market. Da Nang has quite a few of these markets scattered throughout the city, and they're full of food, drinks, and shopping. Baby shark! Doo -doo 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 -doo. They're so cute! Wow, the street market is so cool! Every food is so presentational. They're cooking it, and you can smell it right in front of the stand, and all the ingredients are laid out so prettily. We picked up a quick treat at the street food market. This is Bun Khan. They're Vietnamese rice pancakes. And they're so cute. They're like these little cups. Fried deliciousness. Crispy and oily on the outside, soft and mushy in the middle, and the nice yolk taste. Let's add some fish sauce. Oh. Doused it. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good with the sauce. <laughs> this is where you had the bun con. It's 30,000 Vietnamese dong. You can't go to Da Nang without trying Mi Quang. It's a rice noodle dish that's special to this region. But I'd assumed, since I'm a pescatarian, I'd only be able to see Garrett eat it because it's usually made with bone broth. But luckily, I found this place, Tiam Chai. So I'm going to try vegan mi quang. This dish has the signature yellow color. This is from the turmeric spice. It also has the flat rice noodles and all of the toppings like the peanuts and fresh herbs. I'm also going to add a squeeze of lime because I'm a big fan of sour. Let's try it. Mm, I love that I got that nice burst of lime in there. And then the yellow flavor, I guess the turmeric, gives it a really nice savory flavor. Mmm, these rice noodles are delicious. They have a lot more substance to them. When I think of flat rice noodles, I think of pho, which are delicious, but they're usually very thin and light. These noodles have a nice thick texture. They're flat, but they're more like udon. Let's spice this up. When you mix it up with the nice sour from the lime and the spice from the chili, this bowl packs a punch. I love that every Vietnamese dish we've gotten has a side of fully loaded greens. So I'm just dumping this all in my bowl. This bowl is loaded with so many veggies, it's great. Apparently my tongue is yellow from all the turmeric. This was the vegan version, so let's see what Garrett thinks of the real deal. We're at Mi Quang Ko Sao, and I'm trying out the Mi Quang that's got chicken, fish, and egg. Mm. Oh, this Mi Quang is awesome. It definitely has a lot more of a chicken broth type of flavor for the soup base. These noodles are really well made. They have really nice texture to them. Very like soft. Oh, oh wow. That fish is amazing. Wow, it's like a super tender fish. It's very lightly cooked and, oh man, but that's got so much flavor. I'm actually not sure which type of fish this is. Two, looks like they've got a special chili sauce. Ooh. Oh, that chili's got a kick to it. Oh, that Mi Wang was excellent. And it was only 40,000 dong, which is less than $2. Going on to the next meal, time for some seafood. Oh, I am so excited right now. We are at Mok Kwan restaurant. Now, Da Nang, because it's on the coast, is well known for having really fresh seafood. This restaurant in particular is well known for its tiger shrimp, crab, and lobster. We're gonna get the crab, and we actually get to pick which crab we want. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah. Oh my 
god, I'm so excited. This crab looks incredible. It is completely drenched in this amazing looking orange Singapore sauce. And the best part is, they help us de-shell the Amazing. <laughs> Gotta try this. Mm. Oh my god. Hand fed crab. That's amazing. <laughs> that is so good. Wow. So, this beautiful orange sauce is just so rich with ginger. It's really forward in the ginger flavor. And the garlic and this, like, really beautiful umami flavor. I think it must be made with crab stock. The crab flavor really permeates through and then you get like this giant piece of crab meat. It's so good. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I love crab. <laughs> oh, that smell of this lemongrass is amazing. This plate is just heaped with a bunch of these small clams. Oh, nice. Hmm. So they've got, they have oh, looking for all of these little clams is like a treasure hunt. And you're rewarded with such a great flavor. Oh, that lemongrass just really gives it this cool lemony freshness. And that chili has definitely spread through all the clams and that sauce. These are the cheese covered scallops. They look like they have a beautiful sear on the outside of these. Like 50, but like, weird, like, yeah, crab is what 300 grams. Like, they get little ones, they came out. Mm, that scallop was delicious. Oh, yeah, very soft, just very fresh. Got a hint of like fishiness in that scallop, and like, wow, I'm going with cheese, like, mm. it's such a nice cheese that's really drenched in butter, too. This is amazing. So, the whole bill for five dishes was actually $35 US. But the crab took up more than half of that at $20. Oh my God. Wow, what a meal. There was no better way to end this culinary tour of Da Nang. This place has so many amazing dishes and they've all been phenomenal. And it's crazy, even though we've been here a whole week and we've tried so many different things, we've barely scratched the surface of just the cuisine from central Vietnam. There's so much more to try around this area, and that's not even including northern and southern Vietnam. I'm so excited to trek on and try more. See you later, friends.